Welcome to PS2, the assembly line. There's the time clock. Without further delay, let's get processing. What's the nature of your beast? Let's walk through the steps of assembling an LRGB from individual masters. If you're using a one-shot or DSLR camera, you can take a coffee break. Sometimes a high-resolution RGB approach is called for. Other times, narrowband data may be involved. For this exercise, let's assume a high-resolution luminance and low-resolution R, G, and B masters, the result of 2x2 two two binning. To begin, open the individual RGB images. Before combining, these are grayscale and are listed as such under image mode. Assuming they've been pre-registered to one another, make any one active and go to the channels palette. Under the options arrow, choose merge channels. Select RGB color as the mode. Three channels and click OK. Photoshop will ask you to specify and for all its power it often gets this wrong so help it along. Make sure your red image matches the red channel, green to green, blue to blue, and hit OK. You now have an RGB color master. It's that easy. Now open the luminance. Go to image, image size, and let's note its dimensions. If you hadn't upsized the RG and B in pre-processing, the RGB master should be half the size of the luminance. As we're going to combine the L and RGB, we'll need to upsize the RGB to match the luminance. Using image, image size, enter the dimensions of the full resolution luminance. If constrained proportions is checked, the height will fill in automatically as you enter the width. For best results, use bicubic smoother when upsizing and bicubic sharper whenever downsizing. That's it. Rather than this fully processed example, during actual workflow, some basic levels and curves could be done before combining luminance and chrominance. At that point, different processors' methods will vary. Let's assemble an LRGB. Luminance on top, color on top. That is the question. I feel we'll always want a 100% contribution of color, but there are times we might wish to vary the contribution of luminance, especially if the RGB is unbinned. So I generally put L on top in what is called luminance layering. Ron Wodoski recommends the reverse. If you choose L over RGB, make L active. Under Select, choose Select All. Then under Edit, Copy make the RGB active and return to edit and paste. You now have a layered document of L over RGB. To reveal the color, set the blend mode of the L layer to luminosity. Now for RGB over L, which involves one more step. Select Luminance, go to Image Mode, and convert it from grayscale to RGB color. Now, making RGB active, select All, then 
edit, copy. Make the L active and edit and paste. Choose color as the blend mode this time. In reality, there are many things we need to do to each master before layering, but now you know how the assembly line works. Be sure to save the image as a PSD or proprietary Photoshop document to retain the layers. See you next time in PS3.